are very quickly coming down to the end of Claim to Fame. I don't exactly know how the end is going to play out because it seems a little silly if we just keep guessing and guessing and guessing uh, because like basically it just comes down to like who ends up being the final guesser especially if we end up with some combination of Logan, uh, Lark and LC as the final three, final two because those are the only three people in the house that uh, either haven't been solved or people aren't close to solving. I'm very surprised that Lark is in that list. You know, even with the supermodel airplane clue today and the fashion poster with a picture of a model who had Cindy Crawford's signature mole uh, on it. And for some reason, everybody is thinking Martha Stewart and uh, what was the other name? Sandra Bullock, and which don't really seem to fit at all, especially knowing that everyone has the 80s runway queen uh, note, or at least the runway queen clue. Like, you should be eliminating people that weren't in the fashion world, but they're not, they're hanging on. Uh, and yeah, I don't know why I did a Lark rant at the start before going through the episode, but we did. Now we don't have to talk about Lark at the end. So let's jump into tonight's episode. It was called Spot the Difference. And our challenge for the week saw teams of two going into the house and uh, trying to memorize a bunch of different clues and then coming back in later to try to find what had been changed, aka Spot the Difference. So no immunity. So finally, Louise is not safe. Even if she wins the challenge, well, not really, because Louise wins the challenge and uh, alongside Lark, and they come up with the plan. Uh, as winners, they get to choose who's in the bottom two, so they just pick themselves so they control exactly what happens uh, when it comes to, to the guests for the week. Uh, and the, uh, they came up with a pretty good plan. I loved everything after that challenge uh, because, you know, we basically saw the plan formed like right away. Uh, Logan and Elsie knew what uh, Louise and Lark were going to do. The four L's versus Amara and Pepper. And then, you know, Amara, we saw her cruising around the house, basically saying, basically saying they're too dumb to figure out my clue. Well, guess what, Amara? They've got basically everyone in the house except for you in on the clue about who your grandmother is. And all four of them know that you're related to Whoopi Goldberg and they executed that plan pretty well you know, put themselves in the bottom and then uh, then knock Amara out of the competition. Amara, she kind of popped off after she got kicked out. I don't really know what the point, point of that is. Like, what she did didn't scream Whoopi Goldberg to me in any way, shape, or form. You know, maybe I don't know Whoopi as good as everyone else on the planet, but uh, that is not the Whoopi that I know. Uh, but I guess... You do you, Amara. Uh, <clears throat> now, let's kind of go through uh, some of the, so what's going on with everybody. Logan, uh, once again, he gets, he gets like the most ridiculous clues given about his, his celebrity of all time. His two clues were a palm leaf cowboy hat. That means nothing to anyone on the entire planet. Even if you're a huge country music fan, like, you know exactly what style of cowboy hat every singer prefers to wear? Is that, like, common knowledge? Like, I don't know a clothing item that any celebrity that I like, that I follow, that, that they wear on a regular basis. I couldn't tell you that. Like, if you put whatever, Connor McDavid's sock brand as the clue, like, I don't know. 
I don't have any idea on that. Very ridiculous. The second clue was a toy John Deere tractor, and maybe his celebrity has sung songs about John Deere tractors. Who knows? But uh, very ridiculous. Meanwhile, you have LC, and what were her two clues? Two keys, aka key key, and a palm. So her clues are key key palm. Like it almost spells out the entire name, the entire name of her celebrity. And sure, that's great that no one's figured that out yet, but compare those clues to uh, what, what Logan got and, and even compare Logan's to uh, Lark's, like supermodel and a picture of a model with Cindy Crawford's signature mole on it. Like that's, that's not fair. Like, this game is rigged. If Logan isn't in the final, I will be absolutely shocked. Uh, I guess we, we kind of talked about LC there. Everybody still thinks she's related to Lawrence Fishburne. Uh, but uh, we know otherwise. It's Kiki Palmer. Uh, the clue. L Lark and Louise pull a clue for Pepper. Uh, orange in ale. Rat Pack Singer. So really the orange in ale doesn't really help. You know, so he puts an orange in his beer. Like that doesn't, that doesn't help me. That doesn't help me at all. That doesn't help anyone. But the, the kind of narrowed it down to Rat, rat, Pat's, rat, rat Pack Singer. And the clues, they're the guesses going around immediately jumps over to Frank Sinatra. But later in the episode we saw Logan and uh, LC land on Dean Martin, which is the person who we think that Pepper is related to. So uh, that could be very bad for Pepper moving forward because if they like have that extra clue or that extra guess, even to give to somebody else, like say Louise is in the bottom next week and they say, hey Louise, we think that Pepper is Dean Martin. That's almost a, a, like an additional get out of jail free card for Logan and Elsie. You know, they have Louise as related to Simone Biles locked and loaded. Uh, and if they have Pepper related to Dean Martin, that could come up huge for them. Uh, anybody I didn't talk about? I mean, Louise, we just know. Elsie didn't really learn anything, but we did get the Kiki Palm clues. Uh, Lark, Cindy Crawford, that seems to be lining up more and more. Logan, no idea. We think he's related to Jason Aldean, but that's not really based on, on anything. That's just people commenting, hey, Logan is related to Jason Aldean. Uh, who is Jason Aldean? No one on the planet knows besides people in Jason Aldean's immediate family. Uh, one person that I didn't mention there, and and whatever i think we covered it all this is going to be a very interesting finish to the show the strategy side of things feels so much different than any other reality show that's out there because you know it's not just about alliances it's also about people not figuring you out and if people aren't like for for like especially LC, Logan, and Lark, like if people aren't figuring you out, or in Lark and LC's case, are totally on the wrong, wrong track, like that just adds another layer to the strategy that I love. Like there was that little moment between Louise and Lark, and Louise said, oh, Amara thinks that you're related to either Martha Stewart or Sandra Bullock, and Lark says to her, oh, I think it would be better if she didn't guess. Like that is, that's a level of strategy that we just don't see in other games that I love to see anything new, anything unique. Uh, honestly, I wish that we had more reality shows, even if they just came and went, that had a little bit more depth to the strategy or at least depth in different ways that we don't see in other shows. Really enjoying Claim to Fame. Can't wait to see how this season ends. I think we're Team Logan and LC though, 
And that's going to be it for this week, everybody. So I'm out.